Hey folks and welcome to the Movie Mad channel. A few people have asked me to do a complete collection video and I've always put that off and the reason I've always put it off is that most people have their collections in A to Z or A to Z and I don't, I just don't have enough space for that and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my movies but they're just random ones depending on what the shelf they're on. So starting off with shelf number one. Now, just to be clear, this is going to be a quite a long video. So if you are if you are wanting to get a cup of tea or something like that, I'd pause it and I'd do that now because the, uh, there is quite a lot. I think I've got 150 movies on my, on one shelf. So I'm just going to go through them quickly as I can. I'm not talking about many of them. What I will do, what I will do, is I'll tell you if I've seen it or not seen it, and probably I reckon half of them I've not seen. So we'll start, we'll start, we'll start from there. So we'll just sit the start. So first one, Angry Birds movie. Never seen it. Think I got it in Poundland. The Awakening. I picked this up in CX for £2. It looked a really good thriller. Again, not watched it yet. Altitude. Five teenage friends and it looks like they crash. But I've never seen it either. That's not a good movie. Uh, apartment 1303. Not seen that one either. Some of my movies just fell there. If you're nervous, but that's okay. Some of the TV box sets are in here as well, which I'll just continue to show through. Show through. Show through. So there you go. So we'll start off with the three that I've got here. And that's Fallen Skies, complete first, second, and third seasons. There you go. I need season four, I need season five for that. What else we got? Casino Royale, but this is a doubler, because I've got a I, th I think I've got a double one in this one, so I might keep that one out. Obviously, I've seen I, I was gonna say, gonna say obviously, but I have seen Casino Royale. Cut of Chucky. And Curse of Chucky, not seen either of them. Event Horizon, great movie. Night in the City, I've never seen that either. But I picked it up and I think I paid £2 for it. I think it was in a charity shop. Let's see what else we've got. Straight Outta Compton, never seen it. <laughs> I really need to start watching some movies. A Miserable with Hugh Jackman. Another musical with Hugh Jackman. I was just pointing that out because my daughter likes The Great Showman, and so did I. But she's never seen this one. I have seen this one, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was all right. Train Spotting, definitely seen that one. Great one from based on my hometown of Edinburgh. Mad Max Fury Road. I have seen that one. Prefer the originals, have to say. Looper. Although this is sealed, I actually really, really enjoy this movie with Bruce Willis, where he goes, he basically goes back to try and kill his older self, which is quite an interesting concept. Get Smart with Steve Carroll on the Rock. I haven't seen that one either. Really need to take some time to watch these, don't I? White Vengeance. I think I got it for a pound. Again, not seen it. The Patriot with Mel Gibson. I have seen this a long time ago, but I honestly can't remember the remember much about it. So I will we watch that one. Titanic. I bought this on VHS when I used to work part-time at shop, shops, I think I paid 27 quid for it on VHS. So when I seen the 3D in the charity shop, I picked that one up. Oh, what else we got? The Book of Eli. Now, I definitely have seen this movie. I really, really enjoy this movie. I think it's, I, I think this is very underrated. I really like it, and especially the twist. 12 Monkeys, season one. That's the season of 12 Monkeys. Uh, on there, I have seen up to season three, I think, of this one, but I've only got season one. What else we got? Oh, 
the last chip complete first and second seasons again i've only got seasons one and two of that but i have watched up to season four i think i think that's i think that's another really good tv show so we'll take another pile i'll try it anyway deliver us from evil not seen it the doors not seen it either the darkest hour i have seen that one it's great I think it's a. I think I paid one ninety nine for this off. Would it? And it's well, that's a great. It's a good sci fi action movie. I like sci fi post apocalyptic action movies. I think that's the probably my uh, favorite genre. I should say. Resistance. I only just got this, so I haven't seen it yet. Night of the Living Dead. Don't think I've seen this either, and I just got it. Videodrome. I haven't seen it, and. Change the case on that one, look at there. And it's a classic, but I will get around to watching it. Christmas Vacation, just got it. I haven't seen it, but I thought it was a good deal on Music Magpie. Crash, another movie I haven't seen. You know, I'll be honest with you, I think Shelf 1 is probably the, movie, the shelf with the most movies I've not seen on it. Crash. Stanley Kubrick's A Space Odyssey, I have seen that one. I don't know what I would say, but I, I like the music, and it is good, but it's not really my thing, I don't think. Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner is one of my favourite actors, so I've probably got most of his most of his movies. This is a good this is a great one, Dances with Wolves. The Sting, I have seen that one. I've paid £2.50 for that, as you can see. I better take the sticker off it. And that's with Paul Muren and Robert Redford. What a classic that is. I've, I've, whenever that comes on the TV, I, w I watch it. It's about a betting ring, shall we say, trying to scam people. Well, not try to scam them, try to get back at some of the scammers. Okay. Get the sticker off. Steven Seagal, Dark Vengeance. Not seen it. Looks like one of his later movies that aren't so good, but again, I think I got it for a pound. Oh! Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> I've seen this one. Everybody's seen this one. Molly, leave it. I have seen this one. Let's take the sticker off it. You know what? I can take the sticker off that later. But Beverly Hills Cop, I think, is an absolute classic film from Eddie Murphy. This must be one of his really early ones. That and 48 Hours. Yeah. There you go. Alvin and Chipmunks. I'd, I'd like to say I haven't seen this one, but I have. <laughs> Dead Snow 1 and Dead Snow 2. I haven't watched them yet, but classic zombie Nazi thing. So I think that's my thing. Watch this the other night. Great movie. Armageddon. What else we got? Eagle Eye. This is... I think it's an underrated movie. I really enjoy Eagle Eye. It's sort of like war games, but for the future. And war ga there's War Games The Dead Code, and War Games The Dead Code came out at the same time as this. And I think War Games The Dead Code... I'm just trying to think if it's better or not. I like them both. I like them both. But I haven't got that yet. Classic The Exorcist. Of course, I've seen that. The Equalizer with Angel Washington. Again, another good movie. I do enjoy that. 300. Some classic Gerald Butler Spartan action. The Boneyard. I haven't seen that one. But I will get to it. They Live. I haven't I actually hadn't seen this up until recently, but I thought it was a good movie. I, I didn't like the ending. I thought the ending they could have showed them try to take back over the earth or something like that. There we go. I say I'm not going to talk much about the movies in here. This is just to show my collection. When I'm talking about doing a video, I will talk about them in a bit more detail. So let's see what else we've got. 2012 with a nice slip cover. I really enjoy this movie.
The Experiment with Adrian Brody. I've not seen it. The Fifth Wave. I have seen this with Chloe Grace Mortenez and I think it's a really good movie in that one. American Hustle. Seen it but forgot, forgettable, I would say. Avatar. 3D Blu-ray sealed. I haven't got a 3D TV yet so that's why it's still sealed. Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. I have seen this one. I thought it was quite decent. Battleground. And this is with Mike. Is this Michael Bean? That's why I got it and I've not watched it yet. I haven't seen it. The Blair Witch. This is the remake, isn't it? I haven't watched that yet either. Beautiful Creatures. Not watched it. Family Guy. It's a trap. Not watched it either. There's my other copy of 2012 and I kept it because look, I just really like the slip cover on it. I know I say I don't have much space but can't throw that away. Gotta get rid of that one. Men in Black 3. Let's do look. The Martian, I have got this in 4K but this is the 3D copy. So I thought why not get a 3D copy because I really do intend to get a 3D TV at some point. Season 1 of Fear the Walking Dead, which I have watched. Obviously, I've watched The Martian and Men in Black 3 as well. Attack the Block. I have watched this. British comedy actor. It's alright. It's not great. Age of the Kill. I haven't watched that one. 12 Years a Slave. I have watched that one. Thought it was a decent, decent movie. I haven't watched it again since I've bought it, since I've seen it though. 13 Hours, pretty good war movie, I think. That's about the Jack Reacher series as well, isn't it? The Last Stand, I've watched this, really enjoyed it. Crank 2, High Voltage. You can't get Crank 1 on Blu-ray, can you? No, well, no, easily, anyway. But, uh, I think these are... People like these movies, but I personally... I think they're a bit silly, but I still like to watch them every now and again. The Box, I've seen that. Alright. Wild Card with Jason Statham. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Just think it's got a nice black case on it. 22 Jump Street. I have watched it, but I, have, I haven't watched it on Blu ray yet. That's why it's still sealed. Decent movie. I think it's as good as the first, but it's still alright. Into the Blue with Paul Walker. And Jessica Alba, again, haven't watched it. I told you, this, this, this uh, whole section of the shelf, a lot of them I haven't, I haven't, haven't watched. Maybe that, that's the ones that I should start putting away. Let's see what else we've got. Safe. Not watched it. <laughs> we just did them. Nicolas Cage in Bangkok Dangerous. I actually have seen this, but it's disappointing. Buried. I have seen this one as well. With... Uh, Ryan Reynolds. All right, it's okay. Boy in a striped jacket, striped pajamas. Oh, got to watch. You've got to watch that if you've not seen it. It's a great movie. Brick Mansions. Not watched it. Abduction. Not watched it either. With Taylor Lawton. Absolutely anything. Not watched it. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Badlands, Road to Fury. I don't think I've watched that either. And you'll be very surprised to know I haven't watched The Conjuring, I just haven't got around to it. Chernobyl Diaries, have watched it. Terrible movie. <laughs> Creed, I haven't watched this yet, but I should. It's really, I like Rocky, and I'm sure this will be a good. I think I might keep that on it. I think I'm going to. Dead in the Tombstones, I haven't watched it. Contraband with Mark Wahlberg, I think I have seen this but I can't remember anything about any, any, anything about it. And for a pound, why not? But I really think I need to up the quality of my collection but I'll be honest with you, this shelf is probably, you know the best shelf to start with, it's probably got my most, least favourite movies on it. Well, I wouldn't say that. 
It used to be A to C, that's why you've seen all A, B's and C's, but I just didn't have space for that. So there you go, let's see what else we got happening. People that slag this movie off, but I actually enjoy it. I don't care what you said, what you think. I like that movie. <laughs> Boardwalk Empire season three. I've watched that up to season two, I think. The Boy. Now I'm pretty sure that is one I just got in that twenty-eight movie box set. So I'll keep that separate too. The Lego Movie, three D. All right. Jaws two. Classic. Let's uh, drive hard. That's actually a pretty good movie. I actually enjoy that. With John Cusack. Oh, and Thomas Jane. I think that's a decent movie. Eden. I haven't watched that, but it looks it looks intriguing. Look at that. I see this shelf's got my least favourite movies on it. And it's got one of my absolute favourites on it. Short Circuit 1 or Short Circuit 2? I don't like Short Circuit 2 just as much as Short Circuit 1. So I really need to get Short Circuit 2 on Blu-ray. Oh, and look at that. Just as I'm saying that, Mad Max. Classic. I haven't watched that one, Colin McRae's Rally. Champions League, I paid 50p for it. And then what have I got here? Transformers movie. Really, really enjoyed the first Transformers movie. I think that's the second Revenge of the Fallen, isn't it? It's still alright. Dark of the Moon. Okay. The, or is it? It's the one they get rid of Megan Fox and is that, like, is that Age of And then Age of Extinction. Yeah, so it's two, first two are okay. Age of Extinction isn't terrible, but Last Night's is shocking. I've not even got that. Alien Infiltration, I haven't watched that, but that's pro. That's my type of thing, I really should get rid of that one. Right, just took a quick break there folks to get some of the piles out of the way. And, you also have a, if you are watching, you can either have a nice beverage, like John Flixer says, with three ice cubes, no more, no less. Or, I didn't say what it's to be British do, because I'm Scottish, but I do enjoy a nice cup of tea. Oh, in my Star Trek mug as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, back to it. Hunger Games Catching Fire. Hate that. Full stop. Hate it. Hunger Games. Cockneys vs Zombies. Was in Poundland. Probably alright, but I haven't watched it. Now, I did pay a pound for this, but look at the state yet. Really need to replace this. That's Carvito's way. I haven't have watched that, but it's not been I've not watched it for a long, long time. Cloudy with his chance of meatballs too. Never seen it. The Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Cam. Jack. The Forbidden. Oh, let's start again. The Forbidden. The, the Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan. There you go. Haven't watched it. <laughs> Fame, the original movie. I have watched this one, and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I bought it. The ninth configuration. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Coilinus. Tried to watch it, couldn't get through it. But I think it's worth watching again. Chain Letter. I haven't seen it yet. Courage Under Fire. I've seen it. We made Meg Ryan and Denzel Washington. Yes, yeah, so it's a great movie. I really enjoy this one. Great movie, that one. Annie was in Poundland. This is the remake. I haven't watched it. Should take the stickers off this. American Pie. American Pie 2. American Pie 3. And American Pie Reunion. I like all of these movies. The fourth one, unfortunately, because the girls didn't come back, I don't think it's as good. But one, two, and three. Great. Great comedy movies. Can't argue with them. Clean Skin with Sean Bean. 
Have seen it, can't remember it. <laughs> Hercules with the Rock, 3D, haven't seen it. Battleship, I've seen John Flexter's and Chris Duckman's Hilariosity to review this one. You know what, and I agree with it to a certain extent. But something about this movie, I do like to watch. I don't know what it is, but I do like to watch it. The Rookie with Dennis Quaid, have seen it. Great movie, I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. Behind the Candelabra. Seen the review with Big Polly on it, but never watched it. Across the Line. Didn't even know I had it. <laughs> Exposed with Karen Reeve, not watched it. Spider-Man 3, I've watched it. I think it's as terrible as people say. Eagle with Channing Tatum, I've watched that one as well. And also Jamie Bell's Billy Elliot. Decent movie. I don't know if that's too fast for you guys going through them like that. If you want to let me know before I start doing the other shelves, it might be good. Daryl, the robot boy. Just I think of what it stands for again. Can't remember, but it's a good movie. Red Tails, haven't seen it, but I want to watch it. Alice in Wonderland, have seen it, don't like it. Braveheart. You will take our lives, but you will never take our freedom. <laughs> And I don't have to do a Scottish accent because I'm Scottish. <laughs> but should have done an impression of Mel Gibson doing a Scottish accent, probably. But there you go. Great movie, that one. How can you be it? Anchorman 2, haven't seen it. Carnage, haven't seen it. A Team, have seen it. Was a bit disappointed. Dark Shadows, have watched it. Thought it was okay. 50p. I can look at that. That really, that really does despise you on your collection. Look at the state. Yet. Really need to change. Really need to change that out and get a better copy. Forty-seven Ronin. Not seen it, but I do intend to watch it. American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. Great movie. Shocking at the end of it. Shocking. And here we have. Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace with Daniel Craig. Casino Royale is a great movie. Absolutely great movie. And I just love it. I love these little nuances in it. In, in, in when he started the start, when he goes, you, If they, they, were, they were setting a double O, if they were going to do it, you're wrong. Bang. And then he goes to give, get the, the vodka martini and they ask him, he asks him, Chicken like sir, he goes, Does it look like I give a damn? I think that's that's great. Quantum of Solace, disaster movie. I don't mean it's a disaster movie. I mean it's a disaster awful movie. <laughs> and speaking of disaster movies, World well, Trade Center and Nicolas Cage. That is actually a decent movie. Decent movie. So there is some there is some decent stuff on this, but there's a lot of lot of stuff that I should should either watch or or get rid of or box or something. Escape from New York. Classic Kurt Russell, can I be that? Gonna get soldier for Kurt Russell, not that yet. Despicable Me. Okay, maybe. Dallas Spiders Club. I'm pretty sure that's one of the one in one of my box set as well. Have a look. Dallas Spiders Club, great movie. Great topic as well. The Adjustment Bureau. I really actually really enjoy this with Matt Damon and Emily Boyle. I think it's a decent, decent movie. Especially with the hats, I like the hats. <laughs> Wad Diamond, when Leo Di Leonardo DiCaprio tries to do a South African accent, I just don't think he does. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't know what the South African accent sounds like, but I just think he does a terrible job of that. But the movie itself and the concept, I have watched this movie over and over and over again, so I'm glad I've got that one. This, I like to do these videos because it reminds you what you've got and what you really fancy watching, so... Tonight it's probably going to be the Blood Diamond, Creed, Adjustment Bureau, Dallas Buyers Club. Escape from here. See, too many choices. That's what I like about having a movie collection. The Assassination. Bruce Willis, I haven't watched it. Should do. Bell Strong, have watched it. 
thought it was a decent movie. I think I, put, I got paid three ninety nine for that when that first came out. So there you go. It's okay. I I think people rate this one more than I do. Twenty one Jump Street. Good movie. Enjoy it. Three Days to a Kill. I actually, this is with Kevin Costner as well. I actually think this is a pretty decent movie. I didn't know Amber Heard was in it, so probably not going to watch it now. Dead Space Downfall. No idea where I got it. I haven't seen it. Fast and Furious. That's definitely in my box set collection, so probably going to get rid of that one. Don't Breathe. Haven't seen it, do you want to watch it? Age of Dragons. I think of it. I actually quite fancy this. I don't know why I've not watched that one yet. 27 Dresses. I think I got it because it was 50p and I like Captain Hugo. Argo. Uh oh. Disc is shaking. What's going on with my Argo? Probably when I dropped them, ah, that's fine. Argo the extended cut. Have watched this, can I remember anything about it? Dread in 3D. That's a great Judge Dread movie. With the, the guy who plays the bad guy in Red, he plays a doctor in Star Trek, and for the life of Carl Warburg, is that right? Good back to him. Five Days of War. I actually really want to watch that too. So many movies, so little time. Maybe I should spend more time watching watch them. But if I didn't do this, I wouldn't remember to watch them. That's the thing. So there you go. Five Days of War. And the last one. Again, there's another copy of Avatar. But this is not the 3D version. But it does have a DVD copy inside. I think I've got an Avatar steelbook somewhere as well. So... That's shelf one of my movie collection. I will do all the other shelves. And you know what? If it's anything, it's for a record of what I've got myself. And I can look back and see what movies I've got, what ones I might want to watch. But if you do want to stick around and watch and have a look at my movie collection, I appreciate that. I would appreciate if you gave the video a thumbs up. And, and, a, and a, so if you do want to see more content, subscribe. And I shall see you next time on the Movie Mad Channel.